Well, good evening, YouTube channel. It's Belmont here. So, this video is indirectly responsible for a, actually a non, a non-polluted comment by Donkey, who said that, well, had I not noticed that lockpicking lawyer is selling covert entry tools. Well, you know what? After he left me the comment, I did look over at his videos. Not that I'm blowing up every single one's videos and looking at everything all the time, but I did look. He apparently sold off a lot of his covert entry, except for his stock of shims, which were apparently made of mica. Well, you know what? I just happen to have my shims here. You can hear how floppy woppy they are and made of plastic, which I don't think this is mica. But this came from wish.com out of China. And they are, you know, cut and smoothed. They came in a package of 10, but I was given half of a, half of a full pack and my dear departed friend had the other five. But I decided to pull out my shims and I wanted to make a little video to focus on, well, our upcoming Yam Sham. Good old fashioned ritual sacrifice and feast based on, well, death, unfortunately. And that Yam Sham in particular is Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, folks. Yeah, we have the holidays creeping up around the corner. So if you get together with family or friends of family or even your spouse, significant others, boyfriends, girlfriends, etc., regardless of which way you swing, there is going to be some heated words, some heated actions, some closed or slammed or even locked doors. Because, hey, nothing quite brings out conflict in family like the holidays. Yep. It truly is. So, when you have your family with you, or you're in their house, your mom's house, or whatever, and... Folks start slamming or locking doors around each other when things get heated. Well, you know what? If no one knows where the keys are, you can come to the rescue with nothing more than a shim. <clears throat> Here are some shims. I spent well, a good few hours going through and taking the time with a large co large collection of bag of bottle, two liter bottles, two and a half liter, um, 20 ounce bottles, 32 ounce bottles, and 16 ounce bottles. Yeah, that was me clearing my, clear my nose, by the way. Thank you very much. But... You know, this is just this is just a piece of two and a half liter bottle. It is cut in half. Doesn't quite have the wobble. It has some wobble. Doesn't quite have the big old flexi fin wobble of uh 
these uh, shims from China. But it would do the job. Well, let's say you need more than that. Well, it's plenty to go around. You need bigger than that, or you need longer. Well, just look to your trash can. If you just finished off that uh, two liter for uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving, you know what? Take a little, take a little small uh, knife and cut the label off the side, nice and neat. Cut on the opposite side of the sticky tape and just deposit the wrapper in the trash and get your little uh, well, small box cutter, pop the bottom off of it, take a pair of scissors, run it up the center, the top where uh, it starts to, well, come into a more triangular, rounded shape. Make the cut off and, well, pretty much make a big one, tall. This is from a two liter Pepsi bottle. So, you got plenty of room. It's wide enough. So, again, folks, if you need something to get through those doors that get slammed in your face on the holidays, just look to the trash can. Fish, fish out that... Uh, empty two-liter bottle and give it a little water inside of it and cut it down and uh, slide it through those uh, doors in your house. Make sure your kids don't lock you out of the bathroom. Hell, make sure your in-laws don't lock you out of the bathroom or even your significant other. So that's a bit, that's just about all for tonight. But in closing, these didn't take a whole lot of time to make. I had time on my hands. I had an overflowing bag full of soda bottles and this is a nice little DIY project. So I've got plenty for the future. They're not going to last forever. Plastic does bend, warp, and will eventually tear. So, got plenty of spares. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Yes, that's me burping. But, I do observe some things. So, in closing, this is Belmont saying... Stick around.